hey guys so today i'm going to be bringing you my empties i don't tend to do this video this type of video a lot because i like to accumulate a lot of things and i find that i am accidentally throwing things away instead of you know storing them i have got quite a few things things that i've actually remembered to put in the box but aside from that i do tend to accidentally throw things away so it takes longer for me to accumulate enough things for me to show you so it's not going to be like a monthly video it's just as and when i feel like i've accumulated enough things to show and everything isn't beauty related i do have things which are skincare hygiene just whatever i feel you know is is worth mentioning yeah so anyway let's get on with it the first things i'm not going to do individually because there's just too many and these are like all my favorite body washes uh, one is a feminine hygiene which I just had to get rid of because it was just getting on my nerves sitting in it was just it was just there I don't really tend to buy a lot of these things here but it was one that I had from a short while ago and I thought let me just finish it up so my favorite 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 body washes of the moment is definitely these two. Oh, one is by Imperial Leather this one smells just like foamy banana sweets and they've got this whole range centered around sweets and they've got this one which is the foamy bananas I love foamy bananas they've got marshmallow and they've got the fruit salad chews all three of these are gorgeous and I think I had some of these and I've thrown them away accidentally this is what I'm talking about I had the whole range and I've thrown them away and the good thing is that these are only a pound in like Sainsbury's and same with this the Radox feel bubbly oh my gosh this is just I like my body to smell sweet so I always go for really sweet smelling body washes so those are those hello <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello. 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 Next thing, still body related, is the Nivea Powder Touch 48 Hour Deodorant. I really, really like this. It smells so fresh. I got, well, once I finished this one, I was like, don't you just hate when you finish a deodorant and you haven't got another one as a backup? Like, oh my gosh, that's always a problem that I tend to have. I never tend to buy like more than one at a time. I don't know why when I know that I should. But I've got another one which isn't as nice as this, but it will suffice. But this, the powder touch, I absolutely adore. Something I can't live without is my saline solution for my contact lenses to soak my contact lenses in the evening and overnight. I tend to get the one from Superdrug. They're all the same. Superdrug, Boots, Specsavers, Vision Express, they're all the same. They all do the same thing. But these ones are just a little bit more um, on the affordable side but this is something I can't live without if I do want to wear my contact lenses. Next is something that I'm not so keen on is the Mercy Handy Holy Mint toothpaste. I mentioned it in like a faves and fails video recently. I did say I was going to finish it just because I just wanted to get rid of it so the best thing for me to do was to finish it so that at least I felt like I've at least given it a fair chance and a fair try. It didn't make my mouth feel very very fresh you know when you use Colgate or your mouth feels really fresh once you have used the toothpaste and this it was just kind of like a little bit lacklustre but I used it and now I'm back onto my Colgate thank god I will not be buying. Next is the olive oil moisturising hair lotion. I actually need to rebuy this. This is something that I have continuously bought since I was like a teenager. I don't know why I have not repurchased this. It's really really strange. It's something that's usually, I usually have one at least going out all the time. But I haven't seemed to repurchase this. I think I am going to get another one of these. No, I know why. It's because we have another hair cream that's open at the moment so I just didn't feel the need to go and purchase another one but I'll probably get a small one just so I have it but this oh, if you want your hair to smell good to look good to grow get this it's so nice it makes your hair just look healthy and it feels really healthy it, if you know you know then you know I was gonna have the micellar water I go through tons of these 
I've got like the smallest little bit at the bottom <laughs> that I will definitely be using later on. But I go through bottles and bottles of these. I mean, I can't even tell you how many bottles of these that I've gone through. And I either use it with makeup remover, towel, or with a baby wipe or a makeup wipe. This just is like a magnet for makeup. If you want to remove your makeup literally all in one go, get yourself some micellar water. And they do have these small ones in the pound shop for a pound each that's why I tend to buy these I've seen these in bigger stores like Asda's and Tesco's where this same size is a lot more expensive so I would definitely say if you want if you do like the Garnier Micellar water get it at the pound shop if you have one local to you okay and next is the Miss Sporty Perfect Stay 10 hour concealer in 002 medium I kind of like this concealer it's not like oh the best holy grail kind of concealer it's it's nice to have as an affordable option it doesn't do like the best job it gives you decent amount of coverage it does the job it does crease up a little bit i won't you know lie but it's it's nice to have in case you run out of your favorite it's good just to have this I haven't repurchased it as yet. I can't remember how much it was. It was like one pound something or two pound something from Superdrug. Y'all know I like a Superdrug. But yeah, this concealer is good to have as a backup if you run out of something or if you're traveling, it's nice. Then the last couple of things are skincare related. One of which is the Madara Cellular Repair Serum. This is something that I put on before, like this is the first thing that I put on as I'm about to do my makeup. It's like the moisturizer. And I did actually really like this, um, this moisturizer, but I just tend to find that it's so messy. Like it, once you put it in the cap, I don't, I don't know if it is just a dud one or if they're all like this, but I don't think that it's either this hole is too big or it doesn't reach down to the bottom of the cap properly because what I tend to find is that once I've put it in and closed it, the next time that I go to it, it's like the hole that, see even still, that like all of this is just covered in the serum and it's, it's a waste and it just looks a mess and it doesn't make me really want to use it but I finally got through it so that it was just out of the way but it was a really nice moisturizer it's just a shame that the packaging let it down a bit like, it was actually quite nice whether or not I'll buy it again I probably won't because that whole situation with the leaking and whatnot it really did put me off so I probably won't be repurchasing but it was such a nice moisturizer and it made my, my skin feel really nice and lastly, we have the Delarome Paris Cream Aqua Front thing. Again, a really nice moisturizer to put on before you start your makeup. And also, I put it on my son's skin as well um, because it has aloe vera in it and he has eczema. And this tends to really melt into his skin really well. You know, it's very, very light. It's not harshly fragranced. It was just a nice, light moisturizer to put on for putting on my makeup. And it was just safe to use on my skin as well. So I don't think I'm going to repurchase this one either, but oh, not because like any packaging defects like the previous situation, but because I had received so many moisturizers in subscription boxes like Glossy Box and Birch Box and all of those boxes. I have like cut off all of those subscriptions. I mean, let me know if you do want me to pick them up again because I'm more than happy to do, to do those videos if you like those unboxing videos. But I just tend to find that they put so many creams and moisturizers in these boxes and it's like I like to try more beauty related things like I want to try more makeup like give me more eyeshadow samples give me more mascaras give me more highlighters and those things do come in these boxes but not as frequently as all of these damn moisturizers so I'm trying to get through all of them because as I'm looking at my my vanity it's just like the moisturizer below is crazy I need to get through all of them I'm not going to be repurchasing any of these moisturizers until I've successfully got through everything that I currently do have but it was nice and light I will say that. so that was all of my empties for right now <laughs> I don't know when I'm gonna do another video for empties but I will continue to accumulate things and let you know what I managed to get through and why I didn't manage to get or what I managed to get through anyway so if you like this video give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one